to another YouTube video. Today is the final installment of this fucking series of mini videos of the outfits from the fashion show. This is my outfit from the fashion show. This was my runway look. I am the Valkyrie. So I am sort of like the weird warrior demigod girl and my goal was to look super badass. I hope I achieved it. Uh, there's a lot of leather and metal and taxidermy in my outfit and I taught myself, I taught myself Liberty Spikes just for this outfit actually. So I hope you enjoy it. So here I am as the Valkyrie. You can see that there are, well, first of all, a lot of dead minks hanging off my shoulder. I went to an antique market in the summertime and I put out a call and said, if you have any mink stoles that are wrecked, that are rotting, I don't need them to be perfect. Please give me your dead minks. And I ended up with a pile of 30 of them. So there are actually many more than what are here on the shoulder piece, but I picked my favorites to rivet to these football pads because, you know, if you got to go out on stage with dead minks on your shoulder, they may as well be your favorite dead minks in my opinion. And on top of that, you will see the taxidermy alligator head, which was given to me. His name is Duncan. Uh, he was a lot of moral support during the show. He helped me a lot with that. The other side of the shoulder piece is long gray shag fur, a lot of spikes, which don't tell anyone, but they're actually wine stoppers. <laughs> we bought uh, wine stoppers from the thrift store and ripped the rubber off them and threaded them with screws and used them as epic giant spikes in the shoulder pads, which I then painted and distressed and added chains to and skulls and all of that. This is actually junior, a junior boy's size football padding, which I bought from the thrift store and then altered the fuck out of. Pants, they are leather pants, which I upcycled to include a lot of studs, leather skulls, fishnet inserts, I guess, fishnet inserts, which I cut out of small size fishnet dresses. There is a collar there with some car parts on it and some leather. Oh, there's a close-up of Duncan and the minks. Look how alert they look. They're ready. They're ready for the show. And in the front here, this is the bra piece that I made. I actually sewed it over top of an existing bra so that it had proper shape. It's um, a lot of bleach and canvas and autopsy thread. There's my boots that say raise hell. I hand studded those and I hated my life while I did it. Uh, I autopsy stitched the boots as well. We added spikes to them, a lot of spikes to the bottom. And those are steel toe caps. I ripped those out of a pair of work boots actually. Someone donated me an old pair of work boots and we ripped the steel toes out of them and then glued them over top of these existing boots that I actually bought secondhand and then upcycled some more. Here's a close-up of the bra. See, that's all bleach there, bleach on canvas. Got a piece of a brick tie there riveted in the middle, some extra belts. See, it's belted all around the back, more chains, more belts. There's some big grommets in the back there, more bleach, and some textured uh, faux leather, which I thought was very interesting. We bought some of that from the fabric store around the corner, and I added that on to sort of give it like texture and grunge and interest. Oh, here I am in my armor. So these are the armor plates I use for power grinding. Also, I have acquired a black handprint on my face since last we filmed, apparently. And uh, yeah, so the idea is Brody's going to strap me into these on stage. I actually had um, a gentleman custom make these for me. They are steel as far as I know. And then we lined them in um, oven mitt lining for heat resistance and also Kevlar, you know, for safety. Because <laughs> if you're power grinding, you should definitely try to be as safe as possible about it. And you can see here, they're all scratched up. That's from me practicing with the grinder because um, I did practice quite a lot, obviously, before I went on stage and like did this in public because, you know, if you're nervous about it, the best thing is to be absolutely sure that you know what you're fucking doing before you step out and try to show it to the world. So crotch plate, thigh plate. There's actually two thigh plates, but I chose not to wear both of them because it made my life easier. This is the drawing. Yes, I know I can't draw. This is the drawing. You will see how well I drew the minks there on the side. I'm pretty proud of that. But uh, yeah, it looks almost exactly like what I had in my head, so I'm pretty proud of it.
So there you have it. That was me as the Valkyrie doing my runway walk and also power grinding, which was absolutely fucking terrifying. Um, I learned it. One Arm Bob actually taught it to me for the show. I learned it for this. And I was scared out of my mind before I walked on stage. And I was backstage being like, oh God, don't puke, don't puke, don't puke. Fucking sell it, time to go. And then I walked out and everything went really well. And I was really pleased and I didn't throw up on stage. Although that would have possibly made it even more Mad Max. I don't know. But that didn't happen. So I guess we'll never know. So if you did like this video, if you did like my Valkyrie look, please give my video a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm Madame underscore Absinthe, where I'm going to be posting more detailed pictures of that look specifically and also all of my other outfits. If you want to follow me on Twitter, that's where I put my work in progress sewing stuff plus pictures of my face occasionally if you like that. So follow me there. Please like, please subscribe, and hopefully you enjoyed this series of mini videos of all the outfits from the post-apocalyptic fashion show.